Francis Trafford is dead. I found a body floating in the lake. Oh, my God. Did you see anything? No. I heard something. I didn't see a thing. I'm going to phone Spikings. No, not yet. Why not? It's because first we're going to lean on Naismith. Where's his room? Not just a minute, Dempsey. I resent the way you're ordering me around my own house. This is my territory. What are you hollering? You wake up the whole castle. Shh. His sleeves are wet. There's mud in his shoes. If these aren't fingernail scratches, this worm killed Francis Trafford. He was into more dirt than I figured. The killer was obviously looking for something. I want you to work under the assumption that he was disturbed before he found it. If it's there, I'll find it. Go over this place inch by inch. Use your imagination. I'll remember to look under the bed. And under the floorboards and behind the wallpaper and in the toilet if you have to. I mean, search this place. Are you with me? Unfortunately, I seem to be. Could be on the body. You better search that, too. If you need me. You'll be where? Playing Chinese checkers. <laughs> Mr. Chen.
have sworn I saw somebody heading for this room. Not here. What'd you find? Nothing. Loads of papers, but nothing. You search every inch of this place? Yes. You search this? Yes! Would you please be careful with this? This piece of furniture has been in my family for generations. I know, since the restoration. Anyone with half an eye could recognize this as Victorian. Yeah, and any policeman with 20-20 vision might see this as a piece of vital evidence. I was just about to look there. I'm sure. These are copies of Interpol crime sheets. Any names? Yes, Hoffman. Harold Hoffman. Doesn't ring any bells. It will when we put it through the CRO. Do it right away. Tonight? No, I mean today. It doesn't give me much time. For what? I suppose bed is out of the question. Make peace. You choose the weirdest times. Sorry to disturb you, sir. Have you been out of the house uh, this evening? For a short time, yes. I find it difficult to sleep in strange bed. Two people died tonight. Died? That's right. Francis Trafford, Gerald Naismith. They've both been murdered. You didn't hear anything? No. Apart from the screech of a night owl and that infernal peacock, nothing. I'll say good night then. If I can be of any assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Well, if I could make an observation, sir. Please. Your book? Yes. It's upside down. Inscrutable. Is he on your list of suspects? Sure. Anything on Hoffman and those Interpol crime sheets. Not yet. We're still working on it. We're still working on it, sure. Now, listen, Dempsey. You were sent down here to effect the recovery of some priceless antiques. And suddenly, we've got two dead bodies on our hands. Well, the situation... Now, let me try again. Are you in any danger of recovering the jade? Right now, the jade is just a bait. I'm looking for a killer, and I intend to find him or her. Can I depend on that? Yeah, you can. The stuff you asked for is in the boot of the car. This morning, I was down at the local coroner's office. They're in a bit of a panic. Do you remember the old adage, sufficient under the day? Well, let's have no more depopulation. See what I mean? Bear it in mind. Let me get that. You mean. 